Hello everyone, welcome back to my math channel MathWeb. In this video, I'm going to explain question number 3 from Pearson and Excel A-level exam for Pure Math 3. This exam is taken in October 2024. Paper reference code is WMA13-01. In this question, you must show all stages of your working. Solutions relying entirely on calculator technology are not acceptable. Figure 2 shows a sketch of the curve with equation y equals to f of x, where f of x equals to 2x squared minus 10x and x belongs to r. First part, solve the equation f of x modulus equals to 48. Here f of x value is given there, but uh, here modulus function is there. Okay, So you can replace x with x modulus uh, to convert this uh, function into the modulus function. How to get it? Uh, let me solve here. This is very easy. Just only First of all, let me write the function here f of x equals to 2x square minus 10x. You can replace x with x modulus. So we'll get here answer for x modulus is given actually. That's why I'm changing x into x modulus because this answer is given there. So in the next step, what we will do, we'll replace this value with that answer. And here 2 modulus of x square minus 10 x modulus. So x is replaced with x modulus. Here you can change, uh, you can replace the value of this one. It is 48. So you write 48 and 2 x modulus square minus 10 x modulus. And uh, we can write here x modulus square minus 10 x modulus. Uh, and uh, we will move this value there. So it is quadratic equation in in terms of x modulus so it will be minus 48 equals to 0 this is the quadratic equation in terms of x modulus okay uh, you can further simplify this one by dividing uh, this whole equation by 2 so it will be x modulus square minus 5 x modulus you are dividing 10 by uh, 2 so you get 5 here 48 divided by 2 we will get answer 24 so we can factorize this is a quadratic equation uh, in terms of x modulus. So we can factorize easily 24 by multiplying like we have minus 24 here. Uh, we will choose such pair that will give you minus 5 the middle number. 1 multiply uh, 24 is 24, 2 multiply 12 is 24, 3 multiply 8 is 24, 4 multiply 6 is 24. We will choose such pair by subtracting or adding you should get the middle number. It is the rule. Okay. Again I am repeating this is very basics. Uh, because we want uh, minus 5 uh, by adding or subtracting or by multiplying you should get minus 24. Both conditions are satisfying so you will get uh, two pairs here uh, because it is a modulus function don't forget it is x modulus not x only there is a difference between x and x modulus modulus function is always positive be minus 8 and x modulus plus 3 equals to 0 from here we will get two answers for x modulus one answer will be positive 8 uh, or other answer will be x modulus will be equals to minus 3 this 3 goes to the right side it becomes minus uh, so if you know the definition of the modulus function modulus function is always positive uh, here i am writing for you modulus function function is always positive you should know this rule memorize this one okay so we will reject this part by definition, this modulus function is always equals to x equals to plus minus 8. Okay, so this is the answer for first part of question number 3. What is the definition of the modulus function? Let me tell you, x modulus is always equals to plus minus x. The reason is that uh, it is always positive if you are writing the answer x is always equals to x, or even though it is minus x still it will be x it is always positive if you are writing here 8 answer or 8 modulus is 8 and minus 8 is also positive 8 this is the definition of the modulus function you should know this one this is all about first part of this question let us do second part of uh, question number three find the set of the values of x for which modulus of uh, f of x is greater than or equals to 5 of x uh, 5 over 2 x so how to get modul modulus of this function you will take the modulus of all of this answer okay so you can replace the value of f uh, x modulus that will be equal to this one. In first of all, let me write the question. What is given here? 
f of uh, x modulus is greater than or equals to 5 over 2 5 over 2x so here replace the value of f of x modulus it, it is equals to modulus of 2x square minus 10x 2x square minus 10x modulus of this one greater than or equals to 5 over 2 let me tell you a formula for modulus function in case of inequality like a modulus is greater than uh, equals to, greater than or equals to b we can make two cases we, because we have positive and negative answer for a so for positive answer we will keep the same inequality this is the first case and uh, for negative answer for b we will flip the inequality okay this is the basic definition of the modulus function in case of inequality you should memorize okay so we can make here two cases by this definition of modulus function you can write here by definition by definition of modulus function we can make here two cases first case and second case and uh, we will solve these two inequalities separately the second case first case we will keep the same inequality 2x square minus 10x greater than or equals to 5 over 2x we will keep the same inequality but in second case when it is the negative sign here so 2x square minus 10x will be less than or equals to minus 5 over 2 we will flip the inequality this is the definition of modulus function whenever there is a fraction to get rid of uh, the denominator we multiply by the same number it is the easiest way multiply by 2 here is 2 so we will multiply every term with 2 so we get here 4x square minus 20x greater than or equals to 5x same way we will get here 4x square minus 20x less or equals to minus 5x. Now this number will be solved with the negative 20. We will get here 4x square minus uh, this 5x becomes negative here. So it will be minus 25x greater than or equals to 0. Same way we can write here 4x square minus 20x plus 5x because this will be plus here when you bring this one here. So minus 20x plus 5x uh, will give us the answer negative 15x less than or equals to 0. In case of inequalities, we always find the critical values. For finding the critical value, uh, we will substitute this inequality as equals to 0 like 4x square minus 25x equals to 0. From here, uh, it is 25x from here how to factorize so x is common left with 4x minus 25 equals to 0 okay like this we will have two answers one answer is 0 these are the critical values or other answer will be equals to 25 over 4 because it is the inequality how to solve inequality coefficient of x square is positive we will draw here a graph that is a u-shaped graph whenever the coefficient of x square is greater than 0 positive answer we always draw a u-shaped graph okay so u-shaped graph like this these are the critical values we will draw these two critical values here one is here and other one is this one and it is greater than 0 we will take the upper part of this graph like uh, above the x-axis whenever it is greater than this symbol this symbol is very important if it is greater than we will consider this the sketch the upper sketch this one above the x-axis so this is the solution uh, the solution under this graph okay the red part if you notice that uh, these values are going that way okay x values are going that way and we know that this value is 25 over 4 x value of x is 25 over 4 and 0 will be on the left side and uh, this graph is going that way we will consider this way the values of x at that way therefore what will be the inequality here whenever there is a greater sign we always most of the time we are writing the answer in terms of or and it is going in opposite directions you know uh, we can write here x is uh, less than 0 because it is going on the left side we can write here x is less than or equals to 0 because there is equal sign or x these values going on the right side so we can write here x is greater than or equals to 25 over 4 so this is the solution for case 1 okay now let's solve for the uh, for this one 
again we will find the critical values and we will substitute this one equals to zero because for finding critical values we always substitute this inequality equals to zero keep x common it will be 4x and minus 50 equals to zero now you have uh, two critical values for x it is zero and other one equals to x equals to 15 over 4 these are two critical values whenever the, uh, the inequality is uh, smaller than this one you know let me t tell you a trick here whenever uh, inequality is smaller we are choosing below the x-axis graph uh, mostly we are writing our answer in this form okay this inequality this function is below the below zero means below the x-axis again we have a sketch a u-shaped sketch like this and on the left side we will consider zero and on the right side we will consider 15 over 4 so these are two answers these are two critical values and we will consider the below below the x-axis graph because it is below the zero so our solution will be this one and we always write the solution in this form okay because there is equal sign involved therefore we can write here the answer zero x is greater than or equals to zero and less than or equals to 15 over 4 so these are the answers for the other case if you combine these two if you look at these two results we can finalize our answer if we write here x less than or equals to 15 over 4 this also involves this one you understand if you use this inequality from first uh, second result this inequality also satisfying this inequality okay because when you are using the value x less than or equal to 15 over 4 all the values less than 0 also included in this inequality so this is the one result or other result will be this one so from uh, by using these two results we can conclude our uh, final answer like that x is less than or equals to 15 over 4 or x is greater than or equals to 25 over 4 hopefully you understand it uh, this part is a little bit tricky anyways i tried my best if still you have any doubt about this question please write in the comment box thank you